Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 49. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, here we go. So we're here for the Class D Euro Tour. Taking European cars. Uh, Silverstone, Bugatti Circuit, Circuit de Catalunya, Amalfi Coast, and then finishing off with Iberian International Circuit. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Result. Porsche Turbo. So uh, we have just been doing some research chat um, for anyone on Twitch that didn't see it. Or for anyone watching on YouTube who definitely wouldn't have seen it. Um, this is actually the car that uh, Jeremy Clarkson used for that um, ice challenge where they did the uh, race around that ice circuit. It was this Porsche. So, uh, yeah, I had to pick it. I still think the funniest part of that, absolutely pissed at myself when I first watched it, was when Jeremy just absolutely threw uh, Richard's roof down the side of a mountain. Like, that was funny. <laughs> Hands down. Hey! Who do you think you are? Get back here. Get behind my car, thank you. It's my place. It's my town. It's my track. Hmm. <laughs> Let's dance. What a tune. Good start so far. Looking good. Ugh. I gotta sit down and download a load of like Amazon Prime videos and uh, music off the title so I've got stuff to listen to on the plane. I think that's Twitch going off at the moment. Oh, no, it's Google Drive. Oh, it's another, um... Oh, that's Matrix sending me a, what's it called? Project Paradise Guide. Why is he creating another one? Oh, oof. Audi! Get out the way! There we go. <laughs> you tell it to get out the way, it will do it. You just gotta shout loud enough so the console hears it. <laughs> Works every time. Oh, they got electric feel on Rocksmith Plus? Eek. 
black flag dangerous driving. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get this game finished. I'll get a million black flags if I have to. Do, 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 do. Bing, 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 bing. Do you know what I find actually really crazy? How many cranes there are. Like, I can see four cranes just in this shot right now. Make it five, make it six. And there's a seventh one, but it's sort of bent a little further down. It's a, it's a crane, but it's got, um... Oh, what's that thing where your spine's wonky? I don't know what it's called. I've forgotten the name for it. It's got a broken spine. Let's go with that. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised why there's so many of them there. Yeah, this one. It's got a broken spine. Me, I could live without you, but I really don't want to. Go, go, go! Being left is hard, and this is true. But try coming back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a chew. Get back to you. Come on. Nice. <laughs> Oh my god. I got a yawn. Wow. 138. Did I really mess up all of my previous laps that bad that I lost that much time? Come on, Porsche. Hello, Porsche. I want to try, yeah. Oh my god, it's been like 10 years since I've heard that song. God, I feel old. And I'm not even that old. That's the depressing part about it. I'm being reminded of all these songs I used to listen to when I was like 5 or 6. And it just makes me feel old. <laughs> I'm only 20, okay? <sighs> it's only gonna get worse. Next year I'm gonna be 21. The year after that, 22. Just going up and up and up. Nice. Result. Oh yeah, I'm 100% gonna have to have a look at seeing if I can play electric feel on guitar. Oh, just seeing all these songs that are on Rocksmith Plus is making me want to get it, but I know I'm not gonna use it. Ugh. 20% discount on driveline upgrades by Porsche Motorsport. Nice. And a 20% discount on the intake manifold and throttle body upgrades by Porsche Motorsport. Woohoo! Alright, here we go.
Mm -hmm. Meow. Why is my CPU saying it's getting warm? It's literally not been doing anything for... Well, it's now doing stuff. It's now up to 40% because I'm recording. But when I'm not recording, it's like 5%. So, I don't know what it's doing. Still using my graphics card though to uh, actually render the um, gameplay. The gameplay is being rendered by the graphics card uh, using NVENC. My webcam slash microphone audio is being rendered with CPU. The stream archive for emergencies is rendered with the CPU. Um, and then the actual live stream is now rendered with the CPU as well. Before it used to be the live stream was done with the graphics card. The archive was done with the graphics card. The only the gameplay was done with the graphics card and then the archive was done on C no. The webcam was done on CPU, but now it's all done on CPU except for the gameplay. Which is pretty cool. Is pretty cool. But it doesn't matter how. how like the way you used to do. What's that notification? Oh, that's just Twitch notifying me about the uh, thingy my bob again. Think I can fly? Till we die. I really wish Galantis actually made some more bangers because they haven't made a proper smash hit for a good few years now. Like, I'm pretty sure this is their most listened to song, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I may be mistaken because I haven't checked in a while. We need Galantis to make a banger like this. This was a tune. Chase the morning sun when I'm with you.
I want to run away. What? Keep it going, keep it going, let's go. Oh shit, we hit 48 hours, I didn't even notice. 48 hours into the game. Or 48 hours of total gameplay. Nice. So for pretty much two whole days, I've been playing this game. Woohoo! I am interested to see how long this game is going to take. Um, I'm still predicting 140 hours. 140 to 160, anywhere in that bracket. Pink lemonade, blue raspberry, banana and vanilla flake. Ice cream is nice. What, is that like a Coke float, but instead of the Coke, you're putting pink lemonade and blue raspberry, and instead of vanilla ice cream, you're doing banana and vanilla flavored? Is that what that is? Hey, not bad. 7,000 XP. We've got 20% discount on intercooler upgrades. All right, here we go. I forgot to shift up. Shit. Uh, Arachnix, are you still here in the chat? Technically, yes. <laughs> Technically, yes, but it's not. Get the fuck out of the way! Move! Oh my god. Ah, oh, it sent me off. Or did I start Twitch? No. Been longer than that. Six years ago, maybe? I would say it was early 2017 that I started Twitch. Give, give it. Slide like an eagle. YouTube I started about three years ago. It's coming up to four years actually. Ah oh, shit. Give it. Completely threw my momentum off, and if I didn't rewind, I probably would have struggled to get that position back. But let's be honest, this Audi behind is pretty quick. Makes me want to give in.
selling the Xbox One as I need money. Why don't you hold on to it for now? Only reason I'm thinking is if you're planning on getting your Series X for your Christmas or whatever. Why don't you sell your Series S and your X at the same time and get the Series X? Sorry, the, the One X and the Series S. Why don't you sell them together? Because otherwise, you'll end up having to take more, like, save up more money. I thought you said you were when you were going to get the Series X. There's no point in keeping a Series S if you're not going to, if you're getting a Series X. Has that changed again now? Special someone that makes me want to give back. Why are you selling the 360? You can't play Forza Motorsport then. I'll tell you right now, you will regret it down the line. I regretted it when I sold mine. Even for a little bit of cash. You're better off working an extra shift to get some extra cash that way than um, selling your 360. 360 ca like to get one in good condition that's working is quite difficult they are going up in price the ps3 uh, and the 360 have seen a price hike like crazy ps3 is suffering more but xbox 360 is getting like if you were to look at buying my xbox 360 now i could sell it for the same price i bought it at cex and they're selling it for in the condition that I have mine, probably about 75, 80 quid. Um, but that's just CEX. So they always sell, like, used, fairly used products. If you're looking for a good condition... Yeah, the Xbox One, that's fair enough. Because that thing... All the games that are on the Xbox One can just be played on the series. So it doesn't matter if you get rid of that. The logic behind that says the Xbox One is kind of pointless. Yeah, but you're getting bored of it. But in the future... It is 100% a... Like, if you're ever thinking of old gaming, like, 360 emulation is going to be still extremely tough. And it's... A good few years away before 360 is perfectly emulatable. Um, as for... Like, even PS2 consoles. I bought my PS2 for 75 quid, and they have gone... I don't even think it was 75. Maybe 70. Something like that. The payment was 78, and I, it came with a couple of games as well. So I think it was about 70, 65, something like that. Hmm. Well, if you're getting the series at Christmas, then just sell the One X and the Series S. Makes me want to give in. Yeah, sell the Xbox One. Hmm. When you sell the series, you'll probably get about 150 for it. So you'll end up being able to buy a Series X for about 350 quid. You and me, because that's what it's for. What, even after you get a Series X? You will not use a Series S once you get your Series X. Not at all.
The thing is worse than a Series X. No, you won't. Trust me, you won't. So yeah, I, it's tough for me to decide. Uh, in my opinion, um, if you were to say, have like out of the seven games what your top three are, Motorsport 2, Motorsport 3, Motorsport 4, guaranteed are in my top three. Um, they are my favorites. Uh, the Motorsport 2 is probably my third place. But between Motorsport 3 and 4, it's really difficult to choose. Um... Because Motorsport 3 has a lot of cars, but Motorsport 4 has more. Motorsport 3, I prefer the structure of how some of the starter events are. Um, yeah, Motorsport 5 was pretty good. That would be my fourth place, definitely. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a really difficult to decide for me um, whether I prefer 3 or 4. Personally, I'd probably say 4 just because it's basically a refinement of 3 and anything that was a bugbear in 3 was completely removed in 4. Pretty much. Um, with the addition of Jeremy Clarkson giving his input as well. Um, oh, I've pressed the rewind button by accident. That's the one thing I hate about using a PS5 controller to play this game. <laughs> I accidentally pressed the touchpad a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I'd, I'd probably say FM4 is my best, but this is a very close second because they are so similar in terms of how the games work, how the games play. Whee! <laughs> I love the little alarm that goes off at the end of this song. Brilliant. Yeah, Thornhill. Um, how did you find my stream, by the way? I think you've uh, you've been following for a bit already, anyways. It's cool, dude. I respect your opinion. Yeah, like anyone that says Forza Motorsport Six is the best, I'll always be like, "You okay? Have you played the rest of the series?" But like anyone that says either Motorsport Two, Three, or Four, ah. Uh, their favourites in the series. Like, I can't disagree with their opinions at all. There's nothing that I can go against that because they all are amazing in their own ways that they're so close together in terms of how good they are. And I think 99.9% .9 of people will agree that either 2, 3, or 4 are the best in the series. Um, but yeah, they are really fun games. Um... As for the Horizon games, it's sort of hit and miss. A lot of people will have completely different opinions. Some will say one is the best. Some will say two is the best. Some will say three. Uh, nobody says five is the best. Some people prefer four. But yeah. Also, Coddle, you know why I prefer using a PS5 controller on a 360. <laughs> The original 360 controller just isn't comfortable for racing games for me. Because I'm pretty heavy-fingered. Don't take that out of context, chat. <laughs> uh, I enjoyed your stream. Dude, it's entertaining and fun to watch. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Really do appreciate that. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Hopefully we can see you more in the future as well. Because, uh... We're going to be playing Motorsport 3 a lot for the foreseeable future. Uh, Wednesday's the final stream for a bit because I'm taking a three-week break because I'm in a different country. But uh, once we're done with that, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is going to be a Forza Motorsport 3 stream for quite some time. So, But yeah, I can't, I can't use a... 360 controller on the 360 just because of the fact that the triggers because of how they're shaped they're amazing for first person shooters they're like buttons so they're brilliant for FPS games but um, because of how narrow they are and because of how heavy I press down on triggers sometimes um, it is extremely uncomfortable to use the 360 controller with the triggers after a while my fingers sort of go a little numb. 
because it's like a really small point that's just pressing on the inside of your finger there. It's not great. So using the PS5 controls a little better. Uh, yo, Matrix. What up, dude? I also enjoyed your conversation. Something that we can relate to. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. I tried to be... Tried to conversate as much with chat as I can. Keep it interesting. Think of some things to talk about. All sorts. But uh, when chat is there and chat asks questions and asks opinions and stuff like that, it's always good because we can have a conversation about stuff. It's always good. Uh, which Crash games are you trying, by the way, Kodo? Is that the um, trilogy on PlayStation? What, Crash 1? Like, the actual Crash 1? For the PS1? Oh, on the trilogy. Okay, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> that makes sense. I do actually quite like the Crash Bandicoot games a little bit. Um, brings back some uh, old school memories. I was never good at them as a kid, but yeah. I do have some memories of playing uh, Crash Bandicoot, so... I just came to say hello. Hello there. <laughs> I can guarantee someone's done that on YouTube. Just made a remix of Obi-Wan saying hello there. I can stick around get along with you. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Beep, beep. Ooh, bitch, get out the way. You're alright, but I'm here, darling, to enjoy the party. I just came to say hello. Oh, by the way, Kodo, uh, are our plans still going on tomorrow? F122, 7 to 11. 7 11. Right, 13 grand. Let's go. Nice. And we got level 4 as well. We got 20% discount on valves and displacement upgrades. Whoop, whoop. Hey, good to hear, Cotto. All right, here we go. Uh, this is the last race for the Class D Euro Tour. And then we're moving on to the Class D North American Tour afterwards. Oh, so many slow cars. I still can't believe I've tasked myself with completing all these Forza games. Every single Forza game. There's 12 of them. I have to finish 12 games. And I've said I should be able to do it within two years. How much of a daft moron am I? <laughs> Clearly quite a big one. Follow me. Take my hand. Watching the skyline. So yeah, um, I think when it comes to the Horizon games, for the first few episodes, maybe the first two or three, I'll just have them completely unedited where I'll just drive around. Shut up, speaker. It's just like, please charge. Put more power in me. <laughs> it scares the life out of me each time. Every single time. Um, yeah, but I think I'll do, um, what's it called? First few episodes of the Horizon series, I'll probably upload the entire thing. Because there's quite a bit of, like, during the traveling, there's quite a lot of things that unlock. But then once we get to, like, episode five, I think I'm just going to cut it up into just races only, just to shorten down the Horizon series. Because the Horizon ones don't need to be that long. Uh, I remember trying to get Drift Lap for this game. It's ooh, one of the hardest achievements I've ever accomplished. I think Kodo got that one, actually, didn't you? 
the uh, drift lap around that um, Fujimi Kaido track with the Mitsubishi, right? I think you did that on stream, didn't you, Kado? But yeah, I, I, I want to do achievements, but I don't think I'm going to 100% the achievements in this series. I think it's just going to be playing all the games. But yeah, good good to hear that you um, got that achievement, Thornhale. Honestly, any achievement, no matter how big or how small, is an achievement at the end of the day, and it's cool to earn them. Like, I'm not even kidding. When I got um, my first platinum trophy on PlayStation for uh, Astro's Playroom, it's one of the easiest platinums on PlayStation. Um, other than the crappy indie games that Kodo seems to find that have platinum trophies. <laughs> but, like, that's an actual game. Astro's Playroom is, like, 102. But it was such a, such a satisfying achievement to accomplish that no matter how easy it was, I was proud of that achievement. And it was really good. So, yeah. Getting achievements is just awesome. It is awesome and really satisfying. How many laps did it take you to get that one, Kado? Because I, I remember I said, ah, oh, you've got it this lap. Go get it. And then when AFK came back and you had missed it by like 50 points, wasn't it? Something really minuscule like that. Honestly, if I, if I missed a drift lap by 50 points, I would have throwing my controller out the window. Four laps. They're quite long laps though, aren't they? They're about 10 minutes each. Jesus. That would have drove me crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm hungry. Gonna have to cook myself some food in a bit. I haven't eaten anything at all today. Actually, that's a lie. I had lunch. It was very small though, so could mistake it for not actually having anything. I love to get chivos. I cannot help myself with that. Is that um, a shortened down version of achievements? Because uh, yeah, that was. Honestly, getting achievements in... I think they're more satisfying on PlayStation because you get an actual, like, trophy. Um, and there's sort of a little more value behind that than just adding numbers. But getting achievements in general is pretty cool. I did try um, in a couple of Xbox games to get achievements, but achievement hunting didn't feel the same as it was on PlayStation for me. But again, if it, it feels different for different people. Chivos equals achievements. Ah, yeah. Cool. I get what you mean now. Yeah. I've never heard him be said like that, so that's why I was a bit confused. But yeah. It makes sense now. But yeah. Pretty, pretty fun. And when it comes to actually doing achievement hunting, you sort of get your money's worth out of your game. Because a lot of the time, when you're hunting for achievements, you actually get more playtime out of get certain games. So for stuff like... Um, or try and think of an example. Um, Just Cause, for example. You can actually complete that fairly quickly in probably about 10, 15 hours. So for a full price game, that's not that satisfying. But if you're achievement hunting, you get a lot more time out of that. So it's also an excuse to play more of a game, really. We got 11,000 result. And that also is the end of this championship. So 22 grand in bonuses. 
I'll take that. Thank you very much. We'll move on to the next one. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.